Bird Dog. Right now, it's uh, 30th of September, Monday. It's 10 2 p.m. And it's 28 degrees outside. Well, it seems that I have already let off my frustration earlier today. I talked about what has mostly happened. You know, fucked up the entire day. Now I'm still gonna give this a short. So, yesterday I tried to sleep at 12 again. And what do you know? Wasn't able to sleep at all. So that literally makes like two days of no sleep. And not to mention, like, it kind of reminds me a little bit of that bizarre experience yeah, of that road trip at St. Catherine. Seriously, two days of no sleep. If I'm getting a third day out of this, this is gonna be the fucking. A fucking similar experience, but you see, I didn't sleep for for all this time. I wasn't I wasn't able to sleep for fucking college for three days. Tomorrow's a very very heavy day, you know. Like I'm not gonna be able to, not gonna even be able to make any goddamn console renovation. That's fucked up. And I woke up, did what is supposedly my usual routine, but here's the thing. There wasn't any kind of car that would want to ride, because I'm ordering cars from Kareem. And Kareem is basically Ubers of the turn in Egypt. Anyways, um, I have ordered a car left and right. I even tried ordering a different kind of modes and still no no fucking dice you know? like it's ridiculous like it's fucking ridiculous you know and then a car arrives in and well he surely has barely away why I'm supposed to sleep early and why I'm supposed to wake up early because the college bus is pretty much leaving at fucking seven Surrey and I've arrived at the 775 or some shit. But where you know, the goddamn bus driver has decided to fucking flunk out on me. Even though he didn't do that yesterday when I arrived a bit later, instead, he was the right that arrived late. And not to mention last week, he did arrive at 7, and then at 7 30, he was waiting for some people. So apparently rule just rules are just keeping on fucking changing and breaking whenever I'm in there. You know, whenever I'm in sight. It's like the fucking universe is throwing me. So put this on top of the two days of no sleeping and with my mom literally being a bitch about about, you know, okay, this is gonna happen every every damn time. You're you're basically doing wrong. Now get fucked and order a goddamn car and go to college. And that's exactly what I did. Although the next time this kind of thing happens, I'm going back home. Because I did not fucking sleep in two days. So, as a result, I was forced to go to college. And as another result, I wasn't able to focus at all. Not in any of the two lectures. Now imagine I'm not being able to sleep, and then I wake up on the same goddamn type of bullshit. And tomorrow is basically a full heavy day, you know, four goddamn hours. No, pretty much like six god or five goddamn hours of lectures, non-stop, back to back. A lecture of two hours, a lecture of one hour, a lecture, another lecture of two hours, and the list fucking goes on. And at this point, after I finally finished with uh, 
goddamn college day out there. I felt, I already felt it, that I'm completely fucked. Like this thing is gonna continue and I'm completely fucked on top of, you know, my entire fucking mindset and, and heart already getting conflicted. It was a situation that I'm in. Right now it's 10 and 10 p.m. Like I 
episode before. I'm fucked up, man. Might as well just do what my body literally tells me to do and fucking stay up like a goddamn idiot and then, you know, get myself up on one of the worst goddamn moods and one of the possibly worst days ever. It's a fucking bullshit. It's an entire cockadookie brain, brain dirt shit filled cockadookie type of shit, you know? It's fucking horrible. Today was just fucking horrible, outright straight goddamn ridiculous that just revealed to me how fucking useless and fucked up I am. There is no way I'm getting past this. But if I somehow managed and was able to get like the fucking 40, the fucking 40 marks, then that's good. That's literally good, you know? That would, I would be like a fucking god if I somehow was able to manage and get through all these godforsaken modules with a passing grade. The fucking 40%. Yeah, 40, 40 degrees. The 40 fucking marks. That's what I would learn. That's what I just literally want. Give me the goddamn 40 marks. And I'll be on my way. I don't care about high grades. I don't care about the the fucking uh, the fucking marks that are requiring me to, you know, apply to other jobs. If I'm gonna have to be listed from probably one of the worst goddamn jobs at the end of the goddamn day, then fuck it. As long as it pays, bring me to it. I just wanna pass. That's it. I just want to pass. And clearly, with everything that's happening and what's about to happen, I'm clearly, I'm not, I'm not going to be able to pass. I'm as good as fucking street trash. Yeah, I'm going to be as good as a fucking street trash. Usagi could literally arrive at this goddamn thing at this goddamn university and go on with her goddamn shenanigans and yet somehow she will fucking manage she will manage this entire thing way more better than me you know ironically I've been used to say that Sailor Moon is my comfort anime so is my comfort goddamn place. Usagi is the one and only person that I need in my life. And I still kind of do. But then, let's be real. It doesn't go as much. It isn't as true as it was supposed to be. Not only because I... Not only because there isn't anything new now. Now that the freaking Cosmos International release was there, but it was pretty much like nothing. You know, I don't feel attracted to it as much anymore. Sure, I would literally just borrow my sister's fucking hard drive and literally take all of the Sailor Moon episodes all the way into my phone. That would be okay, right? And I would just watch the original episodes and everything and all the remaining episodes and all this kind of all this kind of crap and well I guess it will be alright but then I don't know I don't know it kind of still wouldn't work I 
but yeah. I just... I just fucking hate this, okay? I hate this disappoint... to the point of wanting to murder myself. Education? More like defecation. More like an entire fucking genocide. More like World War Three. Man, if you want to murder someone, don't murder them with weapons. Don't mur Don't put them in jail. You gotta put them in college. Put them in a motherfucking in a motherfucking school. That's how you murder someone. Seriously, get them to Egypt. And put them in a goddamn shitty, shitty school. Then put them in one of the most basic and probably stupidest kind of university. Then transfer them into the most advanced kind of university after at least like three years in there. And and boom, that's how you're murdering. That's how you completely murder. Yeah, you don't kill with weapons. You don't kill with jail. You don't kill with... Execution? No, 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 no. You, you put that, you use your education. Use the terrible education. <sighs> extreme denial, extreme fucking genocide. That is gonna be way more violent than motherfucking Israel's genocide on Palestine. Look, I know I'm not supposed to be bringing Israel's the Israel war and whatsoever, but that's just how fucked up education is. It may be easy for some, but for me, it is probably the most terrible thing that is constructed by humankind. It is a fucking requirement. If you don't fulfill it, you're fucked. You're fucked. So yeah. In other words, I'm D O N E fucked up. And I wish that it wasn't like that, but it is it is how it is. I'm fucked. Well at this point might as well just give up on studying even. The least that I could do is just download materials. I was, I was, as soon as they're available and all this kind of crap and well that's it I'll literally just store those goddamn PDFs and a few imported pictures on the side as you know imported stuff and that's it nothing else no really nothing else no more so in conclusion, I'm not feeling fine, and I feel like that I'm fucked up, and if I can die right now, that would be the best fucking sweet release. I, I'm sorry. That's literally how it goes nowadays. Two days of no sleep, even though you are trying to sleep early. Early, not even late, not even at five, not even at four, not even at... At fucking two. It's a bunch of cockadookie bullshit. It's fucking horrible. Fucking ridiculous. Honestly, if I've had to choose between being in this. And, you know, sticking to my old faculty. I think I've got it now. I would rather even stay in here or in Saudi Arabia. And stick to my old faculty. Like, fuck it. No, as a matter of fact, I would rather not learn at all. If I would be chosen to work in a pretty shitty job that would give me, like, bare minimum kind of money and and to or to continue in this fucking hell I'll gladly choose that job fuck it let's let's you know 
put ourselves down to the ground, just like what I did thanks to my dad taking away stuff and giving me punishment to put myself down to the ground to get past through problems. Probably the shittiest choice on earth. But when you're in a situation that this shitty, what the hell can you do at this point? Fuck this shit. Fuck this education. Fuck this life. I'm I'm done trying to care. And at this point If death isn't gonna if if no one is gonna kill me, then I know that this education is gonna be the death of me. Yeah. It is probably like stronger than anything. Strong as strong as God even. Education is just that bad. Stronger than genocide, stronger than war, stronger than you know the world and nothing about this makes sense anymore. I'm done. I'm just done. Right now, I'm having what is probably the worst fucking headache in this entire thing. And fucking hopefully, when I try to sleep, at least from motherfucking 11.30, I would at least sleep some. And you know what? If I woke up at like fucking, I don't know, 5.45 or whatever, then fuck it. Yeah, sure. As long as I get some fucking sleep. Like, even sleeping. Even sleeping is now an option. Now I'm gonna probably have to take a fucking pill. That same fucking pill that drains all of your energy and suck it over makes me feel like a fucking limp dick. Just for the sake of sleeping. I'm so done. I, I'm just so done with this life. I said that I was supposed to cherish my time that I have with my goddamn remaining family. But even then I cannot do. Oh, it's horrible. You know, a long time ago, I made a clear warning and pretty much explained why the fuck you don't come to Egypt. And I'm gonna make that warning again. If you're born in Egypt and raised in it, you're fucked. You're simply fucked. But if you're not in Egypt, I'm deeply telling all of you, as a person who had lived there for too long, do not come to Egypt. Fuck all of this tourism bullshit. Fuck all this stupid marketing. Fuck all the people that literally just keep on showing you all the fucking pyramids, the sphinx, animal shaped looking motherfucker. All of these stupid temples and inscriptions and all this kind of bullshit. Egypt is fucked up. You try to live in it and you're completely haunted and, and traumatized and probably completely screwed for life. It's gonna take away your money, your life, your sanity, your innocence, everything. It is as cruel as Israel. It's economy system, it's education system, it's political system, it's entire living system, it's fucking hell. All of it is as horrible as literally living in Israel, and we are not even in there, yet it is as fucked up as this. So I'm once again telling you all. With a straight voice, 
I know none of you is none of you can see my face behind all these fake ass pictures. But I'm telling you all, do not come to Egypt. Don't even just come for the goddamn uh, pyramids or the the Sphinx or all these stupid monumental bullshits. Seriously, steer clear, steer clear away from that country. Stay away from it for life. And stick to your country. No matter how shitty it is. No matter how stupid it is. Egypt is the fucking peak. Of the worst fucking country. In the entire goddamn planet. And I wish I And I'm not even making this up. You can't make this up. Egypt is the fucking worst. It will take your life. It will take your humanity, it will take your money, it will take your sanity, it will take your goddamn loved ones and turn them into, into a bunch of soulless asshats. And so much more. Do not come to Egypt. Seriously, it's, a, it's another clear advice. Do not come to Egypt. Because, seriously, it's a country that fools you. It just keeps fooling you with its fucking image. You only see the image of the country, but you haven't actually seen it and how people deal with it. And consider me as your personal guide to literally, to literally tell you how fucking ass and absolute garbage and pur purgatory this fucking country is you'd literally rather live in a in a goddamn dumpster even the dumpster or in a basement would be much more better for you than to live in Egypt it's a fucking mess Believe me, it's a fucking mess. It's a joke of a country. <sighs> and what's the proof? And what's so shit? Me. With my endless string of diaries that are going on almost every day. And rants and all the shit that I've been giving out on in the past few years until now. Combine that with the Islam and with the Islamic religion and you are already dead. Seriously. If you are trying to be religious, our religion literally tells you you've gotta give up on your on your life needs. Give up on your needs for a wife. Give up on your needs for sex. Give up on your needs for masturbation. Give up on your needs for friendship and fucking fucking social contact give up on your needs for money give up on your needs for for wealth and power give up on your entire fucking humanity this entire human is basically created by Allah to literally just fucking worship him in many goddamn ways that's literally all you that's literally the entire fucking truth you're made to worship him on earth. And when you come back, you worship him even more. And you even, whether it's in hell or in heaven, you're still obligated to fucking worship him. And I'm sorry for speaking like this, but it's the truth. I'm not making this up. You can read the, the Quran all you want, but this religion is literally not as easy or any better than the Christianity. Christianity encourages for peace and harmony and encourages for people to be together and to be nice together and all this thing, but Islam 
none of that. The entire opposite. You're forced to give up on your own human soul that makes you alive just to worship him. To be a soulless man that work, that does nothing but work, does nothing but study, does nothing but worship. It is the unfortunate truth. And I can't believe that I was born that way. It's a fucking mess. It's a goddamn joke. I'm great and I'm and I have no idea how long I'm gonna survive that. Cause anymore and I might just fucking do it again and throw myself for real of anywhere of of this fucking university. I'm done. I'm just fucking done. Like I can't even sleep. I'm fucked. I'm completely fucked. <sighs> yeah. Overall, today was fucking horrible. I feel horrible. And I just wanna die. Is tomorrow or any of the next few days will be better? Absolutely not. Unless I am able to sleep for the first time of my life. Either that, or I'm completely fucked up at any case. Well, and I'm just gonna end it here. If you're watching this, then I deeply thank you. And well, please, just pray for me that things will get better. Just please pray for me. That I would be released from this fucking torture. Pray to Jesus to help me. Pray to Jesus to fucking help me at this point. Oh man. I wish I could fucking convert to Christianity already. I wish I could just fucking convert to Christianity. But I can't. Because I'm going to be penalized as fuck. I'm going to be penalized as fuck in the afterlife. I wouldn't even be judged. I'm going to be thrown straight away to hell. So you're going to have to be born with the religion. Man, I'm done. I'm just done. But I'm probably ending this right here before I go any more insane and sound even more insane than I am. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Man, what a show of motherfucker. Education? More like genocide. More like torture. More like hell. It was worse back then, and it is fucking hit its peak of shit nowadays. I'm so fucking done. I wanna die. Just pray for me. Just pray to Jesus. Pray for me to Jesus. Just pray for me to Jesus.